Good morning, scholars. You may or may not notice me here today on campus. Today is your book deadline day. So I will be on campus, but I have about a million things to do. Um, so we're just going to pick up where we left off the other day. So I may or may not be in the room. Mr. Womack will be filling in for me today. And um, today we'll be finishing up our Erasmus for the Guys and Dolls uh, promotional material that we're making. Um, okay, so uh, we when we left off on... Um, Thursday, we were working on, uh, we we're all about to this point now. You should have approximately three resources in um, Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you get that open, you'll be able to go in there. Um, so you should have the clip that I gave you, you should have your um, soundtrack music, and then the logo which you are using. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is um, kind of change my mind a little bit. I want to drop in the logo here. So grab your logo, drop it into the front part of it. Um, and then extend that out. We're going to do a um, fade to black though, so I'm going to right click here. I'm going to fill the or scale to frame size so it actually fits in our thing. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, and then I'm, for my transition here, I want to use a um, fade to black on both ends of this so it goes from black to, to black. And you can find that here under your effects. So we have video transitions and we have dissolve and then we have dip to black. We're going to drop that in right there so it goes between the two. It should look something like this. Hi. There you go. Perfect. And then we have Cameron talk in there. We've already trimmed the front end on the back end here. Let's see. All right. We're going to we'll add another dip to black in a second. So again, drop the logo in there um, at the end. So project. So grab your logo. There, we'll grab another dip to black. And then of course I'm going to right click and scale to frame size so it fits in there nicely. Very good. All right, the last thing we're going to do is we need to drop the information in there about the actual um, play. Um, so I'm going to make this a little bit shorter. Um, so you should have that email from Mrs. Caraway. It looks something like this. I had it pulled up just a second ago. There we go. Um, and it has all the show information there. We essentially want to get this information in there, um, into the video. Um, so I'm thinking of what I'm going to do, and you can take a little liberty on this. You can put it all into um, two slides, or you could have it into to a couple. I'm going to do a couple. So I'm just I'm going to do. Um, we'll start with the first two lines. So we'll do Friday, or I'm sorry, we'll do the first three lines. The when. So let's drop that in there. So I'm just going to Command C to copy that information. I'm going to go up here to Premiere Pro where it says Title. And I want a new title. We're going to do default still. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to click and Command V, get the information in there. And I'm going to center align it. You can feel free to do what you'd like to do. I want to make it nice and big. So using the move tool, easy to read. I'm just going to fill the whole thing up. There we go. Feel free to choose whatever font that you like. Um, I'm not exactly particular about anything. All right, once you have that, you can close it out. And it will now show up under in our resources here under our project. There it is. And I'm going to drop that in right here at the end. All righty. And... Each one of these titles is going to be 10 seconds, um, so you can adjust them depending on what the information is. All right, and then I'm going to create a new one, so title again. New title, default still. If it bothers you, you can see this information behind, you can turn this little eyeball up here, show background video, because uh, it's actually not going to be there if, that, if that's bothering you. I'm going to go grab the information. Um, so that was the the when. Now I'm going to give them the where. Nope, didn't go. Let's try it one more time. Nope, didn't work. So try it one more time. So let's see in the right place. Good. Try it on Command C. Drop it in. Oh, 
got to be in the text. That's what it was. Maybe. There we go. And I want to make this much bigger. A little easier to read. All right. So if you want to make sure it's perfectly aligned, you can right click and then you can go to position and horizontal center and then right click again, position and vertical center. And now I know that it's perfectly centered right stab in the middle of that slide. Go ahead and close that out. You can drop that in next. All right, let's move this down. And then we have the, the when, the where, now we're gonna give them the how. So let's go grab the information from this information here. Good. And then title, new new title, default still. Okay. Command V, drop the information in. Very good. Again, I'm gonna center align it. And you want to make sure you're you're within the boundaries of this outer frame there. All right, right there and there, good. There. Those are essentially your your bleed safe margins. So if you keep your frame within that, you should be good. And then I'm going to reposition it. So right click. Position, horizontal, right click, position, vertical, very good. Alrighty, so we have the, the, the when, the where, and the how. Now we can drop that in here. All right, for transitions for this one, I'm going to use an additive dissolve because that'll make it just kind of um, appear like. Um, Dissolve in, which will look kind of cool, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So I'll go back to effects, and we're going to use the additive dissolve. And I'm going to drop that in here, here, and here. All right. The last thing you need to do is you need to trim out the music and put and put in the. Um, exponential gain. So go to your razor tool, so it's C on the keyboard shortcuts, and I'm going to give it just a little bit at the end so it fades out. I'm going to use the selection tool to, to delete that. Um, and then I want the music to kind of fade out, not just kind of stop. The way that you do that is in your effects folder here, you have audio transitions right there. Crossfade, and we want exponential fade. And we can drop that right in there. I like to bring it out just a little bit so it's not so abrupt. Alrighty. So our total clip here is about a minute 20 seconds. We're gonna watch it before I export it, and I'll go over the exporting settings with you. So this is oh, you know, one last thing. I want to add a um, let's see here, close that video transition. I want to do a dip to black from the at the very beginning, right there. There we go. All right, here we go. Hi, I'm Nathan Detroit here, founder and organizer of the biggest floating crap game in New York City. And boy, do I have a tip for you. It's gonna be the event of the season. Oh, Nathan, you made me the happiest girl in the world. But who are you talking to? Well, I was just talking to, um... Aren't you gonna introduce me? Right. This this is Adelaide, uh, my girlfriend. Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce. For fourteen years. Mm, yeah. But now I see you're planning a surprise wedding, and it makes it all worth it. Wait, wait. Where do you get an idea like that? The event that? of the season. You said after fourteen years, it better be. Uh, no, uh, no. Um, uh, April twentieth to twenty second. Guys and dolls, uh, get get your tickets now. Nathan, this better not be some code for your crap game. Um, I, uh, we hope.